I've always been interested in clock mechanisms, so I set out to build a pendulum clock escapement, the timekeeping portion of a clock. What I ended up with was a single weight-driven power system and pendulum and four interchangeable escapement mechanisms. My criteria for the build was easy assembly, adjustable positions, and no wooden gears. I don't have the special woodworking tools to make wooden gears, and I don't use a 3D printer. Also, understand that I wasn't building from any fixed plan. I build by trial and error, often with simple prototypes, and then finish with a more robust final rendition. The frame is made from 2020 T-slot aluminum extrusion and corner brackets. This makes construction very easy and anything mounted on it can be adjusted to the perfect position just by loosening and sliding the T-bolts. For bearings, I use mounted bearings with 8mm bore and set screw grips. These mount on the 2020 extrusions very easily. I use 8mm aluminum rod for all the axles and bearing shafts. To attach wood parts to the shafts, I use 8mm flanges. These have set screws and four 1 8 inch holes to bolt it to the wood. For gears, I got two timing pulley sets. With these, I don't need to construct any gears. The pulley kit comes with a 60 tooth and a 20 tooth pulley and a connecting 6mm 2GT belt. I also bought an assortment of belts with different lengths to allow greater distance between the pulleys. Each pulley pair gives a 3 to 1 gear ratio for a total of 9 to 1 when they are both used in series. The weight to drive the system is a 3 pound firewood splitting wedge. The escape wheel is cut from half inch plywood and it's about 7 inches in diameter. The brass pins are cut from 1 8 inch brass rod about 1 inch in length. There are 32 pins in the wheel. I drilled slightly undersized holes in the wheel and simply pounded the pins in. I cut one and a half inch holes in the wheel to reduce its momentum. The wood in the escapement arms are cut from paint stir sticks or quarter inch square basswood model construction sticks. The 65 inch pendulum is made from 1 8 by 1 half inch aluminum bar with some small brass weights attached to the end. All the parts and materials came from Amazon except the plywood and brass and aluminum rod are from Home Depot. In total I spent about $140 on materials. The first escapement is the Galileo escapement, designed by Galileo in about 1637. It has an independent catch bar and a separate pushing pallet with a second bar that lifts the catch. Especially with this tight pin spacing, this was my most difficult build. Getting each bar to the correct length and position took hours of trial and error. Next is the simple pinwheel escapement, invented in about 1741. This escapement has no moving parts and is easy to build. The only problem is that the pushing surfaces, the pallets, have to be narrow enough for both to fit between adjacent pins.
The similar lost beat escapement has only one pallet, so it can be larger. The lost beat has a simple rocking latch that allows the pin onto the pallet only in one direction. The only thing difficult about this build was cutting the inner curved surface where the pin slides. It needs to be a circular arc about six inches in radius. I ended up doing the final curve on my drum sander. Both the pinwheel and the lost beat escapement have pins sliding on wood surfaces and that brings up the element of friction into the works. I reduced the friction by covering the wood surface with a special low friction PTFE tape. The escapement ran much smoother with this tape. The final escapement was the grasshopper escapement, invented in about 1722. I had to build two prototypes from cardboard and balsa wood before I got a good design. However, I was surprised how well it ran in its final form. The grasshopper escapement doesn't have any sliding elements, so friction is much less of an issue. The push arms lift off of their pins rather than sliding off. All in all, it was a good building project, and I learned a lot about clock escapements.